Hello, hello world. My name is Ashley Collins. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Breakup Diaries. I have not done a face to camera video in like what? Three weeks? Hi, how are you doing? I hope everything's well. <laughs> I've been doing um, a lot of interviews, which is very exciting, but it does take me a lot of time to edit them and I want to like commit enough time to them. Excuses, 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 because I'm stalling. I've been keeping this, um, sorry, I'm sweating in my upper lip. <laughs> I've been keeping this a secret ish my close friends know this but um i've been like hysterically crying all morning trying to avoid talking about this subject um and i wanted to do a bit of research on it give you some numbers some facts and i'm like fuck it just fuck it stop trying to appear smart just talk um we're gonna talk about why you should caught up <sighs> It's okay. Why you should cut off your ex and why I didn't. Um, so my ex and I were off and on for a year. Um, there was just some things that he did that were just very disrespectful in my eyes. So I willingly left. But he would always come back in three days. It was like that was our number. It was our, it was our magic number three. Um, when he left during the pandemic from my parents' house, um, he messaged me in three days and I saw that as a sign that, oh, there's hope for us in the future. We can get back together. Um, and we would text every morning. We would video chat. We would, we would sext as well. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, just be patient, Ashley. You, you guys are going to eventually get back together. And then um, I told a couple of friends that we were still talking. And they're like, that's stupid. That's a dumb idea. But I'm like, oh, well, you know, like, as long as I'm patient and I and I stay good and I stay committed and faithful to him, then we will probably get back together. And this was also during the time that I'm picking my blog back up and, and vlogging, talking about the breakup. So in a way, I was kind of delaying my healing. Um, just say it, just say it. So when I finally got paid from my job, I was like, I want to come see you because he doesn't live in the same city as me. I was like, I want to come see you. And he was like, yeah, and he was super excited. And I was like, okay. So, um, so yeah, I took a weekend and we rented a hotel and um we hung out and it felt like old times we were talking laughing drinking having sex um one night though i know that i something just felt off like i have this habit of when a relationship ends I always go back to it because he asks. Because I'm always like, oh, that's a sign that we're going to get back together. And literally when I was packing my bags to get on the Greyhound, ill, I know. <laughs> when I was packing my bags to get on the Greyhound, um, I said to myself, you always do this. You always go back to him because he asks. You, because you think that you guys are going to get back together. And I, I was ignoring that voice in my head. But um, one night we were out. And this, um, this guy was hitting on me in front of him. And the guy was like, um, oh, my bad, dog, my bad, homie. <laughs> that was such a bad impersonation. Um, are you guys together? And he said, verbatim, I'll never forget this. He said, um, yeah, nah, she, she's my best friend. And I remember thinking, I have a lot of friends, but I would never take a six-hour greyhound rent a hotel and have sex with them i would never do that for them i'm like i like my no offense <laughs> i like you guys but i would never that's something that i would do for someone that i love but i ignored it and we enjoyed the weekend together in ignorant bliss um we were holding hands and shit and kissing in public and everything um, and then I came back home in 
And can I just say something that really irked my nurse? Um, ignore the background. I've been sleeping on the floor. Um, <laughs> and working from the floor. I know. I know. Um, <laughs> we're going to talk about that another day. But, um, something that really bothered me is how quickly he bounced back from the breakup. Literally the night that he left, he went out to the club. And he was going out every night after that. Going, going to the beach. Go, going to bars. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> You literally didn't give a fuck about me, you know? <laughs> um, but we finally stopped talking one day. Um, it was just a bad day. It was about 24 hours. And um, I called him on the video chat crying. And he's like, what's wrong? And I was like, um... I don't know, I, I feel like I can't talk to you because I feel like you won't get it. Because at one point, he just stopped listening to me. Like, at one point, I could talk to him about everything. But then eventually, it was, well, this is your fault, Ashley. Or it was, why are you complaining? Why are you so negative? Why, why can't you just stay positive? And it's like, why can't I talk to you about my feelings? So, so yeah, I was video chatting him. And um, I was like, I feel like I can't talk to you because I feel like you won't get it. I feel like you won't listen. And he was like, so why did you call me to ruin my day? And that, I was like, okay, I won't bother you anymore. And then he messaged me a couple of times, but I didn't, I didn't look at it. I didn't open it. And that was the last time we talked. And that was three months ago. <laughs> That magic number three doesn't exist anymore for us. So do you see that I was delaying my healing process because I thought that I had this false hope that we were going to get back together. I thought that maybe I was being stupid. Or maybe, maybe I was being rude. I wasn't being nice by cutting him off. But I've never been that person. I've never been that person who continues talking to their ex because you know they're an ex for a reason you don't you're not obligated to talk to them you're not obligated to keep them in your life and you're not obligated to help them heal that's their job because I remember once we were messing each other and I was like you bounce back so fast and he was like I'm sorry what can I do to help you get over me and I was like wow fuck me huh <laughs> um I took a couple of talking points <laughs> I think that because <clears throat> you know what oh god. god I don't even know why I put on moisturizer this morning <laughs> he still talked to his exes and that always really bothered me that didn't sit well with me and I and I talked to him about it a couple of times but he would make excuses like oh I need to make sure that they're okay. And like him and his baby mama's relationship was super weird. Because it was like they were flirting with each other. I remember once um, she was sending him pictures of when they were together. And I'm like, wow, the disrespect, bro. It's like you continuously disrespect me. And I just accept it. Because I think you're fucking cute. <sighs> Stop being fucking nice. You're not being nice. You're being... Nice is such a fake, passive-aggressive word. There is no such thing as fucking nice. You're not being nice. You're being mean to yourself. You're being abusive to yourself. Cut your ex out. What do you need them in your life for? Um. Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. I, <laughs> I wrote down, why do you want to stay in contact with them? Because are you holding on to false hope that you guys will be together again? Do you feel obligated to take care of them? Don't raise them. You're not... Let me say that again. Don't raise them. You aren't their parent. They are not your child. It is not your obligation to make sure that they're taken care of. They're a grown ass adult. Let them take care of themselves. Let them heal themselves. Um, you don't owe anyone anything. I, I know it's talk a friend of mine recently. She's she's going through a breakup. <laughs> so we're both grieving together. And she was like, oh, I should send her money. And I was like, no. That's not your responsibility. There are government programs. There are food banks. She can figure this out on her own. You don't owe anyone anything financially. 
unless you know you guys took out a loan together you know like that's you know what i'm saying just like just like sending someone money just because you feel like oh i need to make sure they're taken care of you are not their parent they, they are not your child you don't owe anyone anything unless you know legal shit i'm not talking about legal shit though you know what i'm saying though right um <laughs> um i was watching this podcast yesterday talking about unconditional love <laughs> some of us are unconditionally stupid we don't know unconditional love is so borderline abusive what <laughs> i saw the status yesterday it said what happens when your person finds their person that means that they weren't meant for you it means that you cheer them on it means that you guys were in this each other's lives for a chapter celebrate that but then it's time to move on and it's <sighs> speaking from someone whose ex constantly always texts their ex like they're fucking still dating every morning it's not very fair to the person that you're dating now maybe the person that you're with that you were with you guys have kids with but keep that relationship professional don't make it flirtatious like make sure you set those boundaries because you're not with them anymore you're with you and i us um you can't be a part of someone's healing process you have to do it alone and i delayed mine for months and i'm a hypocrite because i was talking about how to get over a breakup and i couldn't even do it myself gonna read this um letting go of your ex is a release of meaning you've created a story in your mind that you guys are meant to be together forever but that story is false your love for them is not unconditional they do not equal your happiness you are already happy you are already full way before you met them they just seem to elevate it a little bit by 0.1 percent that other 0.1 percent is gone but you can get that back again release the meaning that you've attached to them and also don't feel a need to check on in on them that's weird <laughs> don't you don't need to you're not obligated to do that anymore you don't need to check in on them you don't need to just say hi remember when we were together why why? Because you want to make sure that they're miserable? Because you want to make sure that, that, that they, they're fat? That's not very kind to yourself. What, what would life be like if you started loving yourself right now, today, without feeling a need to be attached to this ex? They're an ex for a reason. X them out your life. Has someone said that before? <laughs> I feel like I just made a thing. Um, thank you so much for listening. Um, I still not not gonna lie because I feel like people think that I I bounce back quick. I I keep getting that from people. They're like, oh wow, like you went. <laughs> what did my friend say? He said that you 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 came out booming. I still hope to hear from him, even though I blocked him. <laughs> I I blocked his phone number. I unfollowed him on social media. Um, but I still hope to hear from him. Oh, and also I still get his mail. I've mailed him some shit back, but I'm not doing that anymore. I I know. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit anymore. It's, it's a waste of money. He needs to change the fucking address. Um, and he won't even mail my shit back. So why am I trying to be the bigger person? Um, okay. Um, rambling, rambling, rambling. I still hope to hear from him. But I know that at the end of the day... He made a habit of disrespecting me. He didn't respect me at all, which is not very kind because I don't deserve that. I deserve to be treated with the same amount of respect that he gave his shitty homeboys. That was rude. Okay, bye. <laughs>